It's been a while now since we've had a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And this one is certainly worth waiting for. It's a 2005 model and it's in very good condition. It's done 131,000 kilometres since new, which surprisingly is low when you compare it to other Porsche Cayenne and Cayenne Turbos online. I've certainly seen them with 300 and 360,000 kilometres. They are a very strong engine and they are capable of big kilometres. They're built to last, it is a Porsche after all. The turbo has well over 300 kilowatts of power and it's got the four and a half litre V8. This car's been very well cared for. Being a turbo, it's got a lot of extras. Xenon headlights, sunroof, adjustable suspension. You've got comfort and sport settings for your suspension as well. And not to mention the fact it does have high range and low range and diff locks. So it's actually much more capable than the newer KN. It's got a very nice set of alloy wheels. With a lot of the KN, some of the wheels are a touch and go, but these ones are very nice. It's silver, black leather interior as you can see, and it's just very nice to see it's being cared for. It's got some roof racks as well. It's got a tow bar, and the condition is very good. We've been really lucky over the past few weeks where a lot of these cars we're getting are in very good condition. You can see the parking sensors there. You've got the tow bar. The KN turbos came with the quad exhaust. Tips at the back there. It's on the low suspension setting at the moment. It has a number of settings. This is what they call load, load setting. So it's easy to get in and out, obviously. Another feature of this car is it's got side steps, which is great. It's silky smooth, it has a lot of power, and if it's looked after, they are very reliable cars. And if I may say so, they're actually, in my experience, a lot more reliable than a Range Rover. It's got heated seats, navigation, three-piece, or three-spoke steering wheel, I should say. The black leather seats are in fantastic condition and it does drive beautifully. The engine mounts seem very good. The headlights are nice and clear. It doesn't look like it's been kept outside for long periods of time. And you can tell the turbo because of the huge radiators at the front of the car. They're just behind that plastic there. You've got the front parking sensors as well, which is great. And really it's got all the good options, like roof racks, side steps, front rear parking sensors, xenon lights. It doesn't have things like the electric tailgate from what I can see, but yeah, it just means you open the tailgate like a normal car. Now that is something which down the track can have an issue, I've seen it on the Volkswagens as well. The back seats fold down, the cargo barriers here along with the net there, so if you've got things in the back. There's the spare. It's got 330 kilowatts of power. 31 kilowatts of power, I should say. You, you would have seen photos of the logbook service history, which is excellent. Have you found a Porsche K and it hadn't been serviced properly? You'd really have to consider whether it's worth buying, you'd certainly want to be in touch with the Porsche dealer or the service centre that's been looking after it. That's look. Look, I've, I've taken photos of the service history, so I don't really need to see any more of it. But you can, all the books are, are there, available for inspection. But overall, it's a very impressive car, in great condition, and compared to other KNs, it does have low kilometres and we think the price is right as well. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. We have a couple of other KNs in stock at the moment, um, non-turbo, 
but one is in 07, so it's a little bit newer. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.